Hello there, it seems to have been an age since I did any aquarium advice videos, but in this one I'm going to show you why making the right choice for your foam that goes in your filter is so important. Now I'm actually going to do a quick practical demonstration of why using a foam with a profile cut is much better than using a foam with a flat surface. I've cut it to roughly the same size as most external filters for medium sized tanks are, which is approximately 7 inches square. The foam itself is about an inch and a quarter deep, which is about 32 millimetres, possibly 30 millimetres. I don't think it's a full inch and a quarter. But that's roughly the size of foams that you would buy as replacement foams for your external filters. That side, you've got all of that surface area, you've got little mountains and valleys in there. I'll show you just how much more muck putting the foam in with a profile cut the right way up so it contacts the water the profile way first. I'll show you how much more muck that can catch. You're going to be amazed. Okay, for the purpose of this test, I've crudely fashioned a little box out of cardboard. And in there, we're going to put the foam. Now you'll notice that the size of the box is just a little bit taller than the foam. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour something called bio-gravel into here. And I'll make a video about bio-gravel at a, a later date. But it's basically just a sort of gravel made from sintered glass. Okay, hopefully you can see that that weighs 50 grams. Just change the units on that. So I'll put it in ounces for our American viewers. That's 1.8 ounces. Now what we're going to do is pour some of this bio gravel in until it's level with the top of the box. I'll just zero that. And when it gets level with the top of the box, we'll observe the weight. That'll tell us just how much stuff fits in to that space. I think that's pretty much it. Basically, that represents a clogged foam. That weighs 390 grams, so there's 390 grams of media needed to fill that up. I'll just change the units to ounces. 13.8 ounces of media. Right, set that back to zero. This time we're going to use the foam the correct way. So your water and dirt is going to be contacting it this way. Boom, hitting that side. And you'll notice already that you can see a lot more of the box. And that should give you a clue as to how it's going to perform. So we'll just drop that on, just check the weight. 50 grams, using exactly the same foam, but just the right way up. So that's Right, so that's on hold. That's good. I'm going to fill this up and then I'm going to take it off hold and let you see exactly how much media fits in when you use the foams the right way. Right, that's pretty much it. Let's level with the top. You can still see a little bit of box, but uh, that's about it. So I'll release the hold. 695. And what that means is that allowing for the box and the foam, which was 50 grams, we've managed to fit 645 grams of media in there. I'll just put that into ounces. 24.4 ounces. So that's almost twice as much media that's fit in to that same height available above the top of the foam just by using the foams the right way. So hopefully now you're thinking that took almost twice as much stuff to clog the foams. And what that means in the real world is that if you clean your filter out every month, currently when you've got your flat foams contacting the water, if you get proper foams and use them the right way around, instead of maintaining the filter every month, you would be maintaining it every two months. 
it's that simple. Now I'm not on anything else other than YouTube. I don't bother with Facebook or Twitter or any forums or anything like that. So if you've liked this video, please share it with whoever you think might benefit from it. I really would love to see it spread around because I would imagine 99% of the people watching this will say, wow, that makes a difference and they should take these ideas on board. Now you, you can buy these in big sheets on the internet. I've got them on my website. The link is in the video description below and I would just like to see everybody using foams properly in their filters and really cutting down on the maintenance that they do with the filters because you shouldn't need to be in at the filter every five minutes. Setting it up properly will make such a hell of a difference. And on the subject of that, if you have an external filter and you want to see a video of how to set it up properly, there's also a link to that video that I did a while back in the video description. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.